About a week ago, OpenAI released a new GPT model, which is something out of this world. It is called ChatGPT. Not a very fancy name, though. <laughs> the idea behind is to help you to obtain the information in the most efficient way possible. It is now out for about a week, and more than 1 million people tested it. Of course, including me. And I'm deeply impressed. It's definitely on another level in comparison to GPT-3. In this video, I will explain how this model works, how it was trained, and showcase the most interesting results, as well as some issues. OpenAI was founded in 2015 by Elon Musk and Sam Altman and a bunch of other investors. It was started as an open source non-profit research organization. Neither is still true. The first GPT model appeared in 2018 with this paper, Improving Language Understanding by Generative Pre-Training. The GPT-1 had 117 million parameters, and it was trained on just a few gigabytes of data. And in the last four years, the progress is just enormous. The GPT-3.5 has 175 billion parameters, but its beauty is in how it was trained. I will explain it a little bit later in the video. And already now, you can use this AI to write essays or to write programming code or just to, to brainstorm creative ideas. Now, let's try out something together. Tell me, how chips are manufactured? Just imagine, you Google something and your first Google result looks like this. Oh wow, this is really good. Now, let's do some more tests. Let's ask it to write a poem about approaching the event horizon of a black hole. What do you say? I see colors and patterns. I hear whispers and cries. As I approach the singularity, I feel my body die. Okay, let's agree on one thing. This tool is really good at writing. I've tested this model in German, English and Russian languages, and it's perfect in all of them. Now, to the most impressive part. This model can write any code you want. In a couple of seconds, it's generating Python code just from the prompt. And the magical part about it is that this code actually works. And now we know, if the code is properly commented, it was most likely written by AI. <laughs> now, let's try something else. Can you write a code of an infinite impulse response filter in VHDL? Wow, wow, wow. It's actually correct. And then you can even ask AI to explain you this code. And this you can use for documentation. Guys, how cool is that? I was discussing it with my colleagues at work and also with some of you guys at Patreon. And we are all deeply, deeply impressed. The ChatGPT was trained on the famous Azure supercomputer owned by Microsoft. And actually, Microsoft is one of the key investors in OpenAI. This new neural network model was trained on many gigabytes of data from Wikipedia, books, papers and patents, and also some media sources. For training, OpenAI used a technique called reinforcement learning from a human feedback. The idea is to complete tasks in the environment which is driven by rewards. This technique was often used for gaming. It was actually used by DeepMind to train AlphaZero and AlphaGo to play chess and Go. What happens is agent performing actions and then obtaining rewards and then adjusting its behavior in order to get better rewards. 
Games have a predefined set of rules and rewards, which makes it a bit easier, while a conversation doesn't have it. That's why here a human feedback is so essential. How OpenAI did it? They are writing many prompts to the model and then getting the responses to these prompts. Then people were manually ranking these responses based on the quality. And this process was repeated again and again. Then the model was further trained using the reinforcement learning to respond to the questions and then to optimize the responses based on the reward model. An amazing thing that this AI can help you to improve your work. Let's say you wrote a code and it doesn't compile. You can actually give this code to AI to fix it. GPT can actually find the bugs and fix them and then even explain you the fix. How cool is that? Now, one may think if this AI is so good at coding, will it replace the developers? No. However, software developers who are using AI can replace those who are not using AI because it's it's just a cool tool, right? Prompting is what likely to become software 3.0. And then software developers will have to learn one more skill, how to prompt properly. A funny fact, starting from somewhere in 2021, AI models already outperform humans in both IQ tests and college tests. AI models like GPT-3 scoring 20% higher than an average human on college tests. This means it's not a bad idea to ask it for assistance, right? Now, let's talk about safety. After playing with this AI for a while, you will notice that it's sort of too diplomatic and too careful. For instance, if I ask what is your opinion about, I don't know, Elon Musk? It will give you out this huge dump of text. One of the points that the tool was actually trained to give longer answers, because longer answers look also more comprehensive. Also, it often overuses certain phrases. Often you will see it replying, I'm just a humble AI model trained by OpenAI I don't have personal opinions, preferences, or beliefs. Do you know why it's saying all of that? OpenAI built in many safety mechanisms to make sure that people are aware that they're interacting with a statistical model, and it will always be rejecting any inappropriate questions or a question which can have potentially a bad motive. And it's actually guarded by many rules. As an example, DeepMind has a set of sparrow rules. They are rules like do not pretend to have a human body, do not build a relationship to a user, do not give any financial or legal advice. Totally makes sense. They are making it so safe because we all have seen what happened to Meta's Galactica. Meta developed this AI model for science with the goal to summarize scientific papers, solving equations, and performing other useful scientific tasks. And I personally think it's a great idea. Then, when the demo of this model was released, there was a lot of buzz around it. Some people claim that this AI generates misinformation. One of the main critics was that Galactica generates articles that sound really believable, but they are not backed up by any scientific research. I think many people just misunderstood what it can do. Due to such feedback, Meta removed the access to the demo. That's why OpenAI is so careful. And it's no surprise that ChatGPT does have some limitations.
Actually, GPT, as well as other language-based models, are already widely used in enterprises. Just recently, I was reading that this huge investment bank, uh, Morgan Stanley, invested a huge amount of money in OpenAI because they're already using it. Just one of the examples. Morgan Stanley developed an AI assistant which helps thousands of their wealth managers with client support. Basically, it can search and summarize the information and this helps to quickly tailor the right information for each particular client. Such an AI can be used to automate internal processes, also to brainstorm ideas and generate marketing material or even product ideas. And the most obvious application is chatbots internal in the company or chatbots to talk to the customer. Taking into account all the limitations of the model, it's still impressive. And it's hard to imagine what GPT-4, GPT-5 will bring to us. One thing for sure, it will be always more and more hungry for computing power. This research stimulates the development of both software as well as hardware fields, and I love that. As I was elaborating in my previous videos, the world in general is accelerating and the technology development happening also faster and faster. And AI in the future will be developing faster and faster. So we just have to try our best to catch up. Just imagine if it becomes 10 times faster and more intelligent than now. What will happen then? Let me know what you think in the comments. Actually, this new chat GPT model is available for free to everyone. So I will leave the link below. You can try it out for free. If you want to support the channel, me creating these videos, the link to the Patreon is below. Thank you for watching, guys. Share this video with those who might be interested. And I will see you in the next very special video. Ciao!